Hi guys, this side from Yes, and in this video, we are going to solve this for loop in C problem that is available in the C section on the HackerRank website. So if you are new here, then please subscribe to the channel. And if you are not, then please watch this video till the end. Okay, so first we are going to learn about the problem and then I will show you the my code and my way of solving this problem okay so here in this challenge we are going to use the for loop over here and these lines will give you the understanding about the for loop so without using the for loop we are not able to solve this particular problem so you must have the understanding about the for loop okay so here in this problem what we have given here is that we have given our interval a to b and we are going to check for the interval a to b as a using the value from a to b as a integer variable n and it will check for every input that if the value of n is greater than 1 or equals to the 1 or less than or equals to the 9 then we are going to just print the english representation of its lower case okay let's say if the value of n is one then we are going to just print this one as a word on the output screen and if the value of n is going to be two then we are going to just print this two on the output screen as a word okay so let's say this condition will not uh, satisfy then we will continue about these two condition let's say if the value of n is greater than nine and it is an even number then we are going to print this even on the output screen and if the value of n is greater than 9 and it is an odd number then we are going to print this odd on the output screen okay so here in the input format we have given first the integer variable e and then in the second line we have given the integer variable p thus we have given over here in my code okay so if you are curious about how you are going to use the value of n then the value of n is going to be a to all the way to b means as a sample input we have given the a 8 and b as a 11 then we are going to use the n to b from 8 to 11 means the n will run from for 8 9 10 and 11 okay so that's where we are going to use the for loop over here okay so in the sample out output if we check for these four condition sorry for three condition available here then we are going to just check we are going to just get this output over here okay so now jump on to my solution over here so here in my code i have used this int a and b variable and i have given i have uh, defined this scan a function over here to get the input from the user okay and then i have defined a character array over here that is going to be a 13 line over here and this array has two dimension that is the 11 rows and six column over here and i have predefined all these values over here okay and then i have defined our integer variable over here that is going to be get the uh, index of this particular array over here and we are going to just retrieve the one two three and so on even and odd values uh, on the output screen okay so here in this for loop we are going to run this for loop let's say we have the 8 and 11 as a input string then we are going to run this for loop from 8 to 11 and i have used this conditional operator over here so if the uh, this condition will satisfy then this condition will work and if not then this condition will work okay so we already know about the conditional operator so here let's say this for loop we uh, run for first time and if the value of uh, i is going to be less than 9 or equals to the 9 then this condition will work okay so here we have uh, written the i minus 1 means if the value of uh, i is going to be 9 then 9 minus 1 will going to be 8 and we are going to just print this label label index on the output screen means labels 8 this is going to be take the input from this array over here okay so at the 8th position we have defined this 9 word or in the array so it will print this a uh, 9 on the output screen okay so let's say if the value of uh, i is greater than 9 means it's a 10 or 11 then this condition will work first it will calculate about the even and odd values means if we are using the percentage then it will calculate about the then it will give us about the uh, reminder means let's say 
if the value of i is 10 then then 10 10 percentage by 2 is going to be 0 as a reminder so 9 plus 0 is going to be 9 and we are going to just print the uh, ninth position array value so here at the ninth position we have this e1 on in this array over here and we are going to just print this e1 on the output position okay so let's say if the value of i is going to be 11 then this reminder will give us the one and 9 plus 1 is going to be 10 and at the 10 position we have a uh, odd number defined in the array okay so it will just print this line as a odd number okay so this is my solution over here i hope you have the better understanding about the my code and if you face any problem while using this code then you can also ping me in the comment section and i will surely help you with that thing okay so i hope you find this solution very helpful to you and you have learned some something new and if you are new here then please subscribe to the channel and also don't forget to like and share this video to all of your friends okay so i will meet you with the next video and so bye bye and see you again